Hey guys, it's Rebecca at Branch Room, and I want to talk about something really near and dear to my heart, which is the fact that brands are changing, or maybe it's not the brands. The relationship people have with brands is changing a lot, and I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. So, so much to think about. So, when people were buying things in the beginning, you often knew the maker. You knew what to expect. And then when the Industrial Revolution came along, the maker and the purchaser were separated and you didn't know exactly what you were getting. And that's when brands arose to really create confidence, trust. This is going to be safe or it's going to be the quality that you expect, the level that you paid for. And so we really formed our thinking around brands with that kind of model that it's making it a safe choice. Another thing that was safe, if you start thinking about kind of moving forward in time, maybe like that real explosion of consumerism in the 50s and 60s with television advertising, it was a safe choice in the sense that other people wouldn't criticize you. It was an emotionally safe choice, right? And everyone was buying the same thing. It was very mass. This brand of toilet paper, uh, the other ladies in the supermarket are squeezing it because it's so soft. It's the safe choice. Seems kind of crazy now because we think about brands differently. So we've gone from brands being around trust and safety to a very different model. Some of it is just because times have changed. It's especially true with younger consumers. Their mindset towards brands has changed. And now they're looking for a sense of discovery, a sense of adventure. And so it's not a safe choice to be the same as everyone else. They want instead to uncover something new. And yet we often as marketers are still talking about brands in that way. And what that does, the implication of that for us is that we tend to talk about the ways in which our brands are the same as other brands. We're saying this makes us an okay choice because we are check, check, check. We're saying all the same things. So no. Don't do that, is my point. Think about what is the brand truth that's at the core of your brand that makes it different, that makes it stand out, because the consumer is coming along looking for that difference. The consumer isn't loving sameness and isn't loving safe choices. What they're loving is to find something, discover it on Instagram in their own way, and feel like it makes them more unique and makes them more interesting because it's unique and it's interesting. So do you want to keep talking about your brand and what it has in common with the whole category? No. You want to take that truth, pull it out and scream it from the rooftops so you can be different, so people can love you, so you can be discoverable. discoverable. I told you that I felt passionate about this. I, I, this is so important to me. This is why this company is named Brand True. Find your truth and scream it from the roof, rooftops. I can't even talk. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I hope we have some debate on this one. I can't wait. Let me know. Thanks. Hey friends, come check us out at brandtrue.com for more content like this and to learn about how we might work together. We love making new friends, helping brands to find their brand truths, and then tell the world about them.